Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today we're going to talk about what makes a good friend. It's going to be a little bit of a read today, so put on your thinking caps. A few years ago, I conducted an online poll asking people the following question. What is a friend? And here's just a small sampling of the replies that I got. A friend is someone you share things with that you wouldn't tell anyone else. A friend is someone who you can rely on when you are in a pinch. A friend is someone who laughs at your old jokes no matter how many times they've heard them. A friend is someone you enjoy being around. A friend allows you to play with their toys and not just the old ones that you don't like anymore. That one was from a preschooler. A friend is someone who you know how to communicate with so your needs are met. A friend, even if they are not always sympathetic to every decision you make, they still remain a loyal friend. I found it interesting that those who responded to my poll defined the word friend by what they expected a friend to be to them. I suspect if I had pressed a little bit harder, most of my respondents would have admitted that they have been wounded in friendships in their past. And so now they were a little bit cautious. I don't think that there is anyone on this planet who can say they haven't been deeply hurt by a friend. I've experienced that heartbreak on more than one occasion. As time passed and the initial pain subsided, I quite often realized I had a part to play in that heartbreak. I placed unfair expectations on my friends again and again. I was not always attentive and I was not always looking out for their best interests. I was often selfish. I've actually learned so much about friendship by being in a friendship relationship with God. Jesus demonstrated unconditional love and sacrifice towards his close friends. Just read John chapter 13 to 15 and you'll see the dynamics there. John 15 verse 12 in the message says, Love one another the way I loved you. This is the very best way to love. Put your life on the line for your friends. Love one another the way I loved you. This is the very best way to love. Put your life on the line for your friends. So what does that type of friendship look like? So if we were to follow Christ's example, then a friend would look like this. A friend is one to whom I will be loyal. A friend is one who I will serve. A friend is one who I will speak to with graciousness. A friend is one who I will speak of with honor and respect when not in their presence. A friend is one who I will bless and encourage in ways that minister to them as an individual. A friend is one who I will sacrifice my time, my needs, and my schedule. A friend is one to whom I will share my toys, even the ones I love best. A friend is one who I will weep with and laugh with, no matter how many times I've heard their story. A friend is one to whom I will be lovingly truthful, no matter how painful that truth revealed may seem to my friend or myself. A friend is one who I will cheer on to victory. A friend is one who I will reach out to catch when they stumble. A friend is one who I will continue to walk beside, even when the finish line appears impossibly distant. A friend is one who will fail me, 
who will disappoint me and who will try my patience. And even so, I will love them. A friend is one to whom I will be first to extend my hand in reconciliation when our friendship is strained. To be such a friend seems impossible, but Jesus would not have commanded us to do something that he felt we could not do. Empowered by his grace and led by the example of his friendship to us, we can love one another as he loves us. John 15, 12 to 15. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant doesn't know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. So, if you dare to call him friend, then be the type of friend that represents him well.